tithing how to make lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Gothica is not just some racing game, it's an adventure that the Witcher series can't do! <laughs> Why did somebody make- Oh, this is this guy! What? Holy, he did like an essay! Where, where, where? What? The guy has 400 hours! <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> 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 oh this my god. god! Garfield, this is the nature of the year when I see the <laughs> satellites in space and the people. What's this? Oh, you, you reading, reading this? <laughs> you click on it. It's I a mean, whole essay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> a true life changer. Before I played this game, my family had left me. I had 12 cents in my bank account and stranded off the coast of Antarctica. When it happened. This is another essay! What are these kids doing? After I purchased the product, my life turned around for good. I met my best friend, Bill Cosby, and now the CEO of Apple, Microsoft, and even the team. I rose up through the ranks, and now I'm vice president. <sighs> Why do people give stories? Game came in my life at the perfect time. Allow me to a little backstory of myself. When I was 14 years old, a massive Garfield fan. Oftentimes I would sit back and do nothing. Read the classic comic strips. They are hilarious. Garfield hating Mondays and loving lasagna. There was my childhood. Then it began to feel really depressed oh. and worthless at about 50. I oftentimes wanted it in my life. Oh. My family lived in the top part of Compton. Stuck my head to the loop at the other end and jumped off. <gasps> what? What does that have to do with Garfield? <laughs> Ultimately, my obesity pro. What? <laughs> what the hell? Stop me. What is this? <laughs> and the ceiling fan was ripped down off the ceiling. <laughs> it collapsed on top of me on the floor. My parents were unable to pay my hostel. Are these serious? <laughs> <laughs> it shows humanity still has a chance to survive and why we need to all work together to solve our problems. <laughs> My dad stopped hitting me after I played this game. He killed himself and his mom's in rehab or what's up? I crashed into a pole and the game crashed. <laughs> 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 Before I played Garfield Kart, I was a nobody alone. What? <laughs> John looks depressed. <laughs> <laughs> the attack on Pearl Harbor was a surprise military strike by the. Somebody. Oh, I found a dislike mark. You ready for the. What? I'm not a fan of the subtle themes of child abuse hidden throughout the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> he is a man, a play man. He is John. But he's more than that. But we will get that to later. For now, he's just John, a plain man. And there's a cat, Garfield. This is the nature of the world here. Why is there... Why is there a YouTube link? What the hell? Don't click on it. What? It's just a... What? <laughs> what is that? Someone just posted this one-hour version of Garfield. Who is this guy? I'm gonna get random stuff. <laughs> God. Why does this have a million views? <laughs> Look at this. Now where could my pipe be? Why do the people look weird? Garfield? <laughs> <laughs> Look at yeah, I know, right? The strip. Wait, that was an Garfield. actual comic strip. The comic strip was. But look at this, an hour no version month, of half since just him talking. Since, since coming into existence. Is it? And there it was before me in you... print. I saw it. A, a comic strip. What was it called? Oh. The story here is of a man. 
A plain man. A plain man. He is John. <laughs> He's John. But he is more than that. Oh no. I will get to this later. But first, let us just say he is John. A plain What's man. What's the song play? And then there is a cat. It's like, <laughs> when I see the world. The song makes it like he's like, the, it's his last the hope, the Garfield is like the only one. <laughs> so the strip I saw about this man, John, and the cat, Garfield, you see, yes, mm. it, it is about everything. This little comic is, oh, lo and behold, not so little. Is he talking anymore. about this one comic? So yes, <laughs> when I was 18, I saw this comic. So cool. And it hit me all at once. It's, it's power. What? I clipped it, and every day I looked at it, and I said, "Okay, let me look at this here. What is this doing to me? Why is this so powerful? <laughs> you can do anything. You can simplify the shapes down to just blobs, just outlines, but it still <laughs> makes sense. You can replace the blobs with magazine cutouts and other things. Like replace John Arbuckle with a car parked in a driveway sideways. Mm -hmm. Cut that out of the magazine. Stick it in. Replace him there in the second panel with a, a food process. <laughs> okay. And then we put a picture of the planet in the third panel over Garfield. Okay. It still works. <laughs> These are universal proportions. I don't know... <laughs> several universal mathematical constants e pi the golden ratio what? the feigenbaum constants and so on <laughs> and it's surprising <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> pieces of the pipes for, for John's elbow in the second panel and take that and project it back over John's entire shape in the second panel and you'll see a near perfect oh. Fibonacci sequence amazed <laughs> really that after 33 years of reading and analyzing the same concept of analyzing it's a testament can a cat smoke this is a metaphysical question <laughs> yes <laughs> can any cat smoke <laughs> I was looking for any insight. A detective of a homicide case has to look at every angle. So I'm always taking apart the pipe strip. What? I'm focused on every... What was the statement here? Until... This is key. This is the breakthrough. <clears throat> the pipe is not a pipe, really. Not a Obviously there is symbolism at work here. I saw that from the beginning, and I looked at the literal aspects of the strip to gain insight into the metaphors at play. I worked at a newspaper printing press for 18 months in the late 1980s. I was learning the literal to inform the gestural, the subliteral, the in-between. John reading news <clears throat> in the newspaper means so much more than just John reading the newspaper. But how could you ever hope to decipher the puzzle without knowing everything there is? Oh my god! Answers? John holds his paper up with his left hand, <laughs> what? thumb gripping the interior. <laughs> okay. I learned that this particular grip here is the newspaper grip what? of the century aristocrats. What? This aristocrat grip was a point of contention that influenced the decision to move forward to prohibition in the United what? States in the early 20th century. But I didn't know about the aristocratic newspaper grip until I came across some microfiche archives at the printing press. It's about information. You have to take it apart. <laughs> the hell? And the breakthrough on a smoking cat came late. Just eight years ago, actually. A smoking cat what? is an industry term. It's what the smoking industry calls a tattletale teenager who tells on his friends after they've all tried smoking for the first time. Okay. But the phrase was confused when secret documents went back and forth between China and America. What the... These documents are still secret. And the only reason I know about the term is because I know a man, my friend, uh, Let's call him Timothy. Timothy. Yeah. Yes, it's a fake name for his protection. For his protection? <laughs> If a comic about a cat smoking a pipe can be the only thing in the universe, then maybe this is the strongest evidence for that. <laughs> Many of you say, oh, but I am not blind. I have never been blind. But when you truly <laughs> see, you What's will understand just how truly blind you once were to even think it right <clears throat> to say you were not blind. What does a blind man see? Blackness, 
darkness, blankness, black darkness, dark blankness, <laughs> the absence of things, quite literally, no thing, no things, nothing, nothings. So you see nothing, and I bring you into the light. A cat has what does a blind guy have to do with a cat blind. smoking a pipe? <laughs> the cat has your pipe. You can't fully immerse yourself. You don't have the light. You don't have the radiance, the radical light, the radically radiant light of truth and truth's belonging love and nature of light and loving truthful radiance. So don't be bold and make bold statements. I know of you. The cat has your pipe. <laughs> the cat has your pipe. Remember that. Remember that? Notice the background wall shape of the first panel points inward toward John, the, the second panel. What? And the sharp, tapered end of the purple pipe in the third frame also points at John in the second panel, okay. inward. The eye is drawn to the center panel. You can connect these points and draw a triangle across the panels, and this triangle will align with the oriented <laughs> points of John's collar. This, this is oh my God. God. <laughs> uncover this hidden order is bliss like I've never known. I can't help but read the thought bubble again and again. Now where could my pipe be? Now where could my pipe be? <clears throat> it is a profound question. Why am I here? What is my oh my God. <laughs> it is reflection and self-examination here. It is facing the dust, what is my the misery of a cold, careless universe. You can feel the weight of it. Now where could my pipe be? And he seeks the truth. You can see it in the line quality of the drawings, the thoughtful, controlled outlines <laughs> mixed with the occasional chaotic struggles that lurk in the shadows and Garfield's dark stripes. <laughs> It's almost as if Garfield is chaos himself. Yes. Oh he is the God. embodiment of chaos, disorder, <clears throat> hatred, fear, thievery, death, destruction, desolation. <clears throat> These are the things Garfield represents. He stole the pipe. He sits with his back to John Garfield. Garfield the cat sees the hopelessness of life, which... <sighs> This is why Jim Davis has chosen smoking. It represents a recklessness, a, a disregard for what some would define as the beauty of life. Garfield may die from the nicotine. He may die. <laughs> he defies life. He sits defiant. He nothing. defies he life. Say, and we are faced with this. <clears throat> Could John behave the same? Is John the glimmer of hope? The center panel centers the issue, and again, this harkens to many of the great religious works of art. What the hell? Oh my god. He is the devil. Is he saying that right. Garfield is a no demon? Yeah. And John, John is left, God. Still yeah. Still draped Jesus in the Christ. Light of the, the center John is locked in the, the center John. And knowledge of the truth, knowledge of the existence of evil. It is <laughs> stunning. The great struggle, the struggle that transcends time. And Jim Davis floats over all of this as creator, God of sorts, in his own right. And he presents this cautionary message to us all. It is as if he is speaking from high and he is saying unto our awaiting ears, Where will you be when the cat reveals himself? <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you where you'll be. You will have a choice. You can face endless suffering and eternal misery. You can be forced and beaten down with barbarians who claw at each other just for a view of salvation. Um. They'll tear your eyeballs out and rip your gizzards from end to end. They worship this cat, this, this false idol, this evil, horrible cat. Do not be seduced by the cat in the pipe. Okay. Garfield. My name is a mark of the demons of hell. Oh, Something like this. And to those listening, it is a stark reminder to follow the path of the first panel, John. Be humble, be grateful. Honor the law and honor thyself. Be true and be good. And no harm will come to you. Pray for salvation. It will be granted unto you. Be like John Arbuckle as he lowers his head. Be like Lower thy head. He lowers his paper. 
Because as he turns his paper, died turned by John Arbuckle, and banished Demon Garfield from your life. Banish Garfield. <laughs> so what is all this? Yeah, what, what is? is what am I saying? Aha! Finally. <laughs> What does all this mean? Why is this one comic strip so important to me? And why do I feel the need to share this? Tell us, God damn it. Yeah. Obligation. <laughs> I have an obligation to you all. This is redemption. This is a belief in redemption. The sacrifice of all us. the obvious trappings of this false modern life. And every day I look in the mirror and I hold this comic up to the mirror and I look into the mirror and at this little comic strip. Be humble. Be thankful. As a reminder. Be respectful. What? You are a statue. You are fragile. And when you break, when you shatter, where will those pieces go? Ask. 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 Ask this question. Will you ask? Yeah. Humankind is only as great as you. You, the individual. It begins and ends with you. You must treat this expedition, this search, this life with a reverence and intensity found only in the smallest sticks, the littlest leaf, the tiniest <coughs> stone, the most minuscule grain of sand on a beach of billions. This is the secret. <laughs> do you want the pipe? Yes. <laughs> or do you want to know where the pipe is gone? Yes. Oh, where is it gone? You ask yourself. You ask. Oh, okay. You ask. You ask. Now, where could my pipe be? We just had to dive into the comment section of Garfield, can't we? <laughs> so you see, that's where the trouble began. That smile. That damn smile. 